Hi guys, what's up? I hope you're doing well today. First of all, if you see Cash sitting here, he wanted to join us. And I have a favorites video today. I haven't done one in quite a minute. Honestly, I don't even know when the last time I've done one is, but I feel like I haven't been making like a lot of beauty or skincare videos lately. And so I kind of want to catch you guys up on the products that I've been loving. I have quite a few here, whether it be like random, I have a few like hair products, makeup products, skincare, and then of course some fashion. I don't have that much fashion. I just have like a couple of things that I wanted to tell you guys about because obviously that's you guys already know most of the things I've been loving in that category but I do have a couple of things that I did want to share with you so anyway if you end up liking this video at all feel free to subscribe down below and let's go into the first category I think I'm gonna start with okay he's leaving I think what I'm going to do is body care okay so there's this one product specifically so I've been I'm very into scents I really like to smell good just in general I feel like I found scents that work with my body and smell good on me and that I just like and so, so like speaking of hygiene I have this one product and it's a body wash and it's actually by Lush. I have not been into a Lush in years, you guys. I haven't had a Lush product in so long. It used to be my thing in high school and middle school and stuff. But my sister and I were at the mall a couple of weeks ago and we're like, why don't we just pop in and get a bath bomb, you know? And so I was looking around, looking for things. They kind of have like similar products from whenever I used to shop there, but I understand now why I loved it so much. I, I don't know how I've gone this long without shopping in Lush, but I feel like they have a unique set of products, but this one specifically has been my go-to. It's the Dirty Spring Wash Shower Gel. And I've never, ever, ever gone for a scent like this. I kind of would describe it as like a sweeter, like, no, it, it just kind of smells like toothpaste in a, in a way, like minty. It's very refreshing, but once it's on the body, it just smells so good. And I always get complimented, like Jared, every time after I shower, he's like, you smell so good. And I haven't even put on perfume or anything yet. And I just really like it. Again, I usually go for like sweet smelling things or fruity smelling things, but this one, I don't know. I was just like, let me just try it out. And it says it's made without any synthetic preservatives. So that's nice. Freshen up with this tingly minty gel to keep your cool in a steamy shower. And I think that's why I like it too. It's like when you're in a hot, hot shower, Hour and you have this scent it kind of adds like this whole really fresh aroma to the bathroom when you're using it and um, I just love it it smells so good just trust me on this if you're by a lush go in and smell this even if you don't normally like mint scents I don't know what it is and on that note of smelling good I also have a perfume that I've been loving this month or for the past couple of months and it's by dossier who is actually the sponsor of today's video but I always love to include them in my favorites videos because they really are a favorite you wear them every single day I have like if you can see over there I have those are all my perfumes and like over over half of them are dossier like that's what I wear every single day and this is one that I've been wearing recently it's ambery cedarwood and it's inspired by Mugler's alien which I have a story on alien I literally never used to like that scent my aunt used to wear it and I would always smell it at her house they had like the cool shaped bottle it was in a star bottle it was beautiful but I never liked it growing up and then I was like you know what I want to try it again because my scent glands have developed or whatever I chose this one off of dossier's site and it smells first of all it smells the exact same as I remember it like flushed me back with memories it just smells so good this is my go-to favorite 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 perfume I've gotten so many compliments wearing this out I just feel like it sits on the skin really nicely like at first it smells different but then when you like have it on for a few hours you notice like oh it still smells so like sexy but sweet um that's how I would describe it. I always describe scents as sexy but anyway for those of you who have not heard me talk about dossier yet or don't know much about them they're actually a fragrance company that creates like luxury inspired fragrances so if you think of like any luxury perfume or fragrance um you can go on dossier's site and they make their own scent inspired by that every single one that I've had has nailed it I've never gotten one that I I've smelt the actual perfume of and I'm like this is not it like this one it's just crazy how close they get um, but how much of a price difference they are for instance if you go on dossier's site I believe they're like most expensive perfume is like 50 to 60 dollars I want to say Ambry Cedarwood which I'm talking about right now is 30 dollars on dossier but the original retail price is 120 dollars and it's just insane um the packaging is very minimal and just overall I love their simplicity as a brand as well and I always have to make this point but my favorite favorite thing about dossier is that they are risk-free so let's say you order a fragrance you use it a couple of times and it's like not sitting well with you you don't like the smell it's giving you a headache whatever the case is you know it's very hard I think to pick a perfume online well with dossier you can actually return any bottle you choose to not keep within 30 days with no questions asked and any and all returns that they get they donate so you don't have to worry about we wasting it or anything like that so if you're looking for something inspired by Le Labo's fragrances Victor and Rolf's flower bomb Gucci Chanel Tom Ford and my favorite is Mason Margiela's replica perfumes and they actually have a ton of inspired scents by them and I'll link everything you need down below to shop Dossier's site um, as well as my discount code to get a little bit of money off and yeah thank you again to Dossier for sponsoring this portion of today's video and let's go into my other favorites now okay so my 
next favorite is not just one product. It's actually like a line of products that get me to my glowiest and happiest self daily with my, as far as like my makeup routine kind of goes, um, and skincare, kind of like prepping my skin for makeup. All these products I use in a specific order to kind of get um, it's not even only like how my skin looks when I have makeup on. To preface, I'm someone with super, super dry skin. I just, I feel like no matter what, I can't like actually glow glow. And so these products make me feel like my skin is actually glowing. And I genuinely don't know if you can even tell. Like I'm trying to, on my skin, I just moved the camera into like the light. But I just feel like my makeup doesn't look as cakey. And my skin just looks healthier underneath and so like I don't know how to show you to prove it so that you take my word for it but in person I feel like maybe it's just me maybe I'm going crazy but anyway okay anyway these are the products first I go in with an oil I have a lot of different oils that I like but I've been really loving this one lately it's the Acure um, Essentials 100% squalene oil plant squalene oil and I feel like I like this one for the daytime especially because it's really nourishing um, but it's not super heavy and it just gives my skin like that nice like plump feeling and like hydrated and glowy feel without being too much and too heavy. This is a nice thin lightweight option for my oil and I just take a little bit of it and I pat it in my T-zone after I moisturize. So I start with a the moisturizer then I do this. Start off with SPF and you guys I don't even use these anymore for the benefits of SPF. Like yes I do like that's why I started using them but like I feel like I have to use them or else my skin doesn't look how I want it to. So you know what I mean like I it's like the best, best both worlds limo out front. Anyway these are them. I talk about them all the time. I feel like you guys have definitely heard me talk about them, but here we have Elta MD UV Glow Broad Spectrum SPF 36, and then I also have UV Clear SPF 46. So the main difference between the both of them is Glow is a little bit thicker, and it has a little bit more coverage, whereas this one is still tinted, and it does give you, like, a little bit of, a, like, a sheen of coverage. So whether I'm wearing makeup or not that day, I put these on. I usually mix the two just because I like, like, the consistency that it gives. However, I was just using the UV clear for a very very long time and that one worked great as well I really like that um, just gives a little bit more coverage and a little bit more of a glow anyway I start with those I get mine on Amazon you can definitely get them off of Elta MD's website as well okay and the next I go in with my foundation and my concealer if I use either or that day otherwise I'll just continue with the rest of the stuff but um, as for foundation right now I've been really loving my CoverGirl CC BB cream I love that stuff so much and then I use my Kosas concealer just to like spot treat or spot conceal but like I said I switch those out all the time so like I feel like the these products are like what actually makes my skin glow however the BB cream the CC cream or whatever it is that stuff really does make my skin like feel like skin all day and I feel like that does contribute as well but I've talked about that so many times with you I didn't want to include it but now I am including it then our next step vital this step is vital I don't use a illuminator or like a, a highlighter or, or anything like that but I do use this Jones Road Beauty Miracle Balm this if I could like have one product probably in my makeup routine it would be this whether I'm wearing makeup that day whether I'm not this and the SPF I don't know it'd be a battle between the two but this one I love so much this is in the color magic hour which reminds me of that Kanye West song I think it's the magic hour Hold on, now I'm gonna think. Oh yeah, Devil in a New Dress by Kanye West. It's a magic. Anyway, this is the color of it. And if you can imagine like a bronzer mixed with like a Vaseline like lip balm kind of thing, but for your face or for anywhere I guess on your body, but I use it for my face. That's what I would describe this as. And if you guys haven't heard of Jones Road Beauty, it's actually owned by Bobbi Brown. And I think she's made like a whole new, this whole line of like enhancing your natural features and your natural skin and kind of just like loving on the face and the skin that you already have, that kind of feel, I think. And so this is kind of just in that same realm of like glowing from within, looking naturally like radiant rather than like illumination. I just really like it. I put it on, sometimes I put it on before my makeup, but again, I usually put it on and I just dab it where I want it to kind of look more natural and skin like so I'll put that on and then I'll go in with like the rest of my routine like my cream bronzer I use like all cream products and then I just set like my eyelids and my under eyes and then lastly I go in with this product which also contributes so much to the glow of my skin it's I've talked about it so many times but I actually have it in every single color it comes in I'm pretty sure at least at Target it's the it's the pixie on the glow blush tinted moisture stick and again you just like open the thing this it's just like a blush stick but the formula on this, I mean, I this has to show you that I love it because I do not buy the same thing over and over again. Like, I think this is the only thing besides my SPF that I have in multiple shades because I love it that much. And these are pretty pricey for a drugstore blush. I want to say they're about 
$20 give or take and I think they're so worth it like literally so worth it literally can just go like this on your skin dab it in and then you're good to go and it gives you such a radiant look really pretty colors I do hope they extend their shade range because I would literally buy every single color but um, they're super good I have, I have ruby which is definitely more of a berry red and then I also have juicy which is like a nice coral orangey pink um, and then I have fleur which is just a true soft pink and I love them all. Sometimes I mix them. I would have to say probably the Coral um, Juicy, my favorite and my most used, but I love them all so much. And so I'll finish off with that. And that's my skin routine I've been doing. I hope that you can tell, like, I feel like my skin looks a lot healthier than it has um, in the past. Lastly, as far as makeup goes, I have some sparkly eye products. You guys know I can never shut up about how much I love glitter on my eyes. I recently got this about face, like, it's like a loose glitter it's like a pigment kind of um and it's in the shade out of body which is a little bit more of an iridescent like gold shade and about face is actually halsey's brand which i love halsey i'm a big halsey fan and products seem so unique to what's out there in a lot of the celebrity brands that are coming out i feel like a lot of celebrities are coming out with makeup brands which i don't hate like it makes sense for a lot of them and halsey is someone i feel like is really into their own products like um, and you can see that on their Instagram and everything, but she has come up with a great product line and great range um, And so I love this pigment and I also just got this matte fluid eye paint and I love like a good pop of color on my eye So I bought this one first of all the packaging is gorgeous We're into blue lately as you can see but I, again, the packaging is just beautiful. It comes out on a liquid little doe foot applicator. And what I do sometimes is I take a little bit on like a brush and then I use it as eyeliner or um, that's actually the only way I've tried to use it, but because I just recently got this. It's in the shade Blue Monday and I'm really excited to try out and play with it a little bit more. But what I've really been loving is the About Face Eye Glitter. I used it today actually on my... It's just like a very... I used it very subtly just to kind of give... Otherwise, I've been using the Lemonhead LA... Um, space jams which are just like a paste of glitter and I thought I would mention this because it is festival um, concert season coming up and happening right now so if you guys are looking for like a good eye glitter I highly recommend Lemonhead LA and About Face so okay next we have hair products I have a couple of hair things that I want to share because I'm someone who I don't really love to do my hair but I do like to have it look good or decent at least um, and so dry shampoo is a big thing for me I wash my hair about once a week sometimes twice and I normally have blonde hair which usually helps with keeping like the oil away you know like it takes all of the moisture out of your hair when you bleach it and I haven't been doing that lately obviously because I changed my hair color and so I feel like normally I would just be struggling with like keeping it not super oily looking um, in between washes since I found like my favorite dry shampoo ever I've tried so many dry shampoos in my life I used to love the Dove one that was like my go-to favorite until I found this this is the Amika um, perk up dry shampoo and I this is something that is super hyped up I feel like online I see everyone talking about it and it's for such a good reason um, I have this size this comes in the fun beautiful Amika packaging I love Amika as a whole as like a brand but also this product especially is my favorite and then I also have like the jumbo one they just came out with you guys are looking for a really good dry shampoo first of all it smells good second of all it does not leave a white cast even though I have darker hair now um, it blends out really nice when you brush it I just like spray it in my hair let it sit for a second and then I'll usually take my blow dryer to kind of refresh my hair um, and then brush through it and stuff like that but I love this stuff you guys but also I just love the whole Amika line I use their shampoo and conditioner um, I have their like texture spray and then I also use their hairspray just all in all so good I love them and another thing for hair really quickly as the seasons are changing every time that there is any kind of season change or just throughout the whole year I struggle with dandruff you guys have heard me talk about this um, but I'm loud and proud about my dandruff struggles I feel like I've been kind of in the past couple of years been really honing in on like finding products that work for me and this is something I don't use a dandruff shampoo anymore I strictly use like my again my Amika shampoos which are not dandruff like friendly or like for dandruff so in replacement I found kind of like a little hack to, so I didn't have to use a shampoo like that because a lot of the dandruff shampoos I've tried are very drying on my hair and I just don't like them they're not like I wanted the fun packaging stuff and they don't make that in dandruff shampoos so anyway um I found this little hack I think on TikTok someone was using the ordinary glycolic acid um toning solution on their scalp in replacement of that before they shower 
and it worked for me. I didn't think it was actually going to. It did, and I love it so much. So again, this is the Ordinary. It's their glycolic acid. It comes with a little top like this. So I just like separate my hair, go through each line, and then kind of massage it onto my scalp. And I'll do that before I shower, like 15 to 20 minutes before, and I'll let it sit on my hair for a little bit. And then I'll go and I'll wash it off with my normal routine or whatever. And it helps so much. Not only like reduce dandruff, um, just reduce like itching and everything like that. So highly recommend it. Okay, next we have a couple hair clips. These are ones are from Amazon and I just thought I'd mention them because they actually hold my hair. Right now I have like my natural normal hair, but I have for the past couple of months had extensions in or tape in extensions and I was felt like I didn't have like a good clip for them because it makes your hair obviously super thick and you have a lot of it and nothing was like holding them like no clips that I had prior that worked for me worked when I had extensions but these ones that I found on Amazon again they work so well they come in a bunch of colors um, I got like the neutral packs with like black um, this clear one which I really like because I don't know I just like clear things and then I think there's like a tortoise shell one um, I think they also come in different colors and different things like that um, but super inexpensive and they really really hold your hair if you have super thick hair I highly recommend these and so I thought I would include them because um, I think it's really hard sometimes to find a good clip that doesn't like slide down your hair I hate that when you have like the perfect setup for your hair your hair all smooth and it's back you fixed it all up and then it starts sliding down that's like the worst um, anyway so, okay so next I have a couple of fashion items and these okay so first I have like two pairs of shoes and these are kind of like a, I would say are more so like a genre rather than the actual shoe but like like what I've been calling them are ugly cute shoes but they're so comfortable so I have these two pair right here this is the Ugg um, Tasman's I believe Tasman X I want to say and they're like a rubber rain boot I know a lot of you guys are gonna hate both of these I feel like they remind me of like a Dr. Scholl's clog or something uh, but in my opinion cuter I think they're cuter because like I really like this part this comes with like a sock that you can pull out if you can see that it's super super comfortable um you wear them with socks without I usually wear them without just because I'm gross but but I just really like the way they look they look super like outdoorsy um and chill cool girl to me and very comfortable and then the other ones I have are these North Face like they're kind of I think they're supposed to be slippers but they have like a harder bottom and I don't know the name of them I'll put it right here but I love them I love this color and they're just uber comfortable like so comfy okay next I have two pair of sunglasses you guys know I'm a sunglass whore like actually I love sunglasses so much um, but I, I told myself a while ago I was done buying Amazon sunglasses just because I had enough sunglasses. I was like, you know what? If I have any like holes and gaps in my sunglass collection, I can save up and invest in like a nice pair. But then I was literally on the hunt for a black pair of like oval looking sunglasses. Celine has a couple of pair of like really cute oval sunglasses. Um, one of them being like the Triumphs and then another one are just like the oval. I don't remember the name of them, but, but for the Triumphs, I really wanted them, but I didn't know how I'd like them on my face. And I was just like scrolling Amazon one day and I saw these and I was like, those are so good. Um, they literally look exactly like the Celine ones and they actually, <laughs> I think they're like supposed to look like it. I didn't know that whenever I got them. I didn't know that it had like the little, you know, fake Celine logo, but um, I don't care. I love them so much. I feel like they're the perfect sunglass. Uh, if you have like my face shape, that a lot of the time I don't really like round sunglasses on me, but I like these ones. I love them. Also just really comfortable. They don't give me headaches or anything. I want to say they were like $12. And again, I just couldn't justify getting the Celine ones yet because I didn't know if I'd like them. And I just didn't know if I wanted to spend that kind of money on a pair of sunglasses. So these do the trick for me right now. Um, I love them. And then the other ones are these. And these are a little bit more sexy to me. I like them. I feel like I'm in like driving my way through the countryside in like a movie based on a novel or something, but I love them. I just, I really like them linked down below as all of these things. Okay. Lastly, we have kind of like a um, home slash miscellaneous and there are only three things, but one of the last couple of things I wanted to talk about is this jewelry organizer that I found again on Amazon. This is kind of something that I didn't know I needed until I knew I needed it. Like I didn't think that I needed this for so long. Then I was like, I'm just sick of not having anywhere to put my jewelry. And so I found this. Um, it looks like this. It is actually double tiered. So you just like take it out and it fits more underneath it. And I think it's super cute. Oh God, hold on. It's super cute. I like the little pink color in it with the white on the outside. I kind of just leave it open because to be honest, I think, I think it's as cute shut. 
but I don't care for traveling it would be really nice as well or moving because you have uh, all you need in here and you can have multiple if you have like a lot a lot of jewelry but um I just love it they make ones that I think are taller as well on Amazon but this one is really great it was a great price feels really nice and very very useful I just love this thing so much so I usually have it sitting out like this but anyway when I have it sitting out like this I always get comments on where it's from so I wanted to include it because it's something that's made my life a lot easier and just just better i don't know i love having my stuff organized so yeah next we have a candle this is my second one of these but it's the slow burn casey musgraves and boy smells candle um it just smells so good and i feel like for summer coming up the scent is so nice the muscular it has like incense and black pepper scents and notes in it um but it's also very sweet at the same time it like is something that's really sweet but it has like a darker tone to it which i really like those kind of scents especially in the spring and summer so i wanted to wanted to mention that this is how it looks it's gorgeous as well like i said this is my second one of these and i always just burn it while i'm in here working just like that makes the whole floor of this house smell good like i'll leave and i'll go downstairs and i'll be walking up the stairs when this is burning and i'll be like it smells so good um so i love that candle and then lastly i have a home product this might be random too long, <laughs> but it is this little green machine so you guys know i have pets i also have a puppy right now which is something i've had this for a while because i've had the pets but also once we got the puppy this this has come in so clutch while he's been potty training but also when i spill things like myself you would think I'm, it's just for like the pets but no it's mostly honestly for me i spill things so often and on my like rugs which i love my rugs in my house and we have like a little bit of carpeting as well upstairs so when anything gets on it i just turn this on i use the little um thing here this little thing here i use the bissell stuff that you're it like comes with i also have like a stain remover cleaner i can't think of the name but it's this one so i'll kind of like spray my stain remover on there and then i'll use the stuff that's like in here um the bissell stuff and everything comes out always it smells so fresh it looks brand new um even if you're just looking to like refresh your little stairs or something at your house it also has like a stair attachment if, um i just love this thing so much so i thought i would mention it if you guys are looking for something like this i also have sorry it's kind of dirty because i had baking soda on it um because i don't think i'm supposed to use it with this but i did and like i put the baking soda on this stuff to like get the scent out and then i used this which Hopefully didn't hurt it, but it worked fine whenever I was using it. But anyway, nonetheless, even whenever I don't use baking soda, this thing, this thing is amazing. Mwah. I love it so much. So anyway, those are all of my current favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did down below by liking this video and subscribing. And I will link everything that I talked about down below in each category or like in the order I talked about it probably. And yeah. Um, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you again to Dossier for sponsoring. Make sure you check them out down below and use my code to find your spring summer scent. And I will talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.